to continue to pray for uh, Sister Linda. She's still in the hospital. And then are there any other uh, unspoken prayer requests you can make them known by raising up your hand? God, we acknowledge this all by our heads in prayer. Lord, Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, Lord, to come and feel the throne of grace to receive mercy and help. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for blessing us, Lord, to wake up this morning clothed in our right minds with a reasonable portion of health and strength. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for blessing us, Lord, Jesus, protect us, Lord, as we went throughout our day, Lord. Lord, for guiding us safely over dangerous highways and byways, Lord, keeping us safe from both dangers seen and unseen, Lord. Bring us into this house of worship just one more time. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your presence that we feel right now in this sanctuary, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for all your wonderful blessings that you have restored upon our lives. And Lord, we ask for you all these prayer requests, Lord Jesus. Lord, that you, Lord, Lord, touch and move in each and every one of them, Lord, in your mighty name, Lord. And Lord, we ask, Lord, through our hearts, Lord, to receive your word, Lord, let your word come from good ground. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
I do not demand I like that. I'd like to hear a few announcements before uh, we take up this evening's offering. Uh, I think uh, it's coming up uh, this Friday at 6.30 is Youth Night. Amen. And also, if the weather permits, it'll be, uh, this Saturday will also be Youth Outreach. Uh, and uh, and I think that is all the uh, announcements that we have. Oh yeah, not let me forget that. Uh, remember to wish Sister Cheryl and uh, Brother Josiah uh, a very happy birthday. Their birthday was last week, and was uh, at home. So I wasn't able to uh, announce it over the church. But so, uh, please remember to uh, wish Sister Cheryl a happy birthday. Amen? Let me off the announcements. Uh, Ms. Allen, please let me off. Lord, I pray that as we give you, you receive and worship.
Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 The gifts and calling of God is without repentance. Amen. Amen. And we are thankful that uh, uh, He's merciful to us. And His love will get us out of a big spin. Come on, come on. His love is a driving force to everything. So we're great. Thank you so much for that testimony. Amen. Somebody else. Amen. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I mean, though His way is perfect. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 We are thankful. Yes. Thankful for the house of the Lord, the church yes. of the living yes. God. Yes. Amen. Amen. And especially those that have family that live for God. Yes. That's a beautiful thing. Yes. Amen. Amen. Don't, don't take it for me. I, I, I agree with you, sister. Thank God. Amen. Nobody love you like your family. Right. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. So we're thankful for that. Amen. Praise the Lord. Are you waving your hand in the praise or are you going to testify oh. quickly? I just want to piggyback on what you said, Tanya. Because growing up, I didn't treat my mother good. I treated her really bad. I think I was angry because she gave me away and nobody else. I didn't understand this as a kid. And when I got older, one day she sat me down and she said, now you're ready. I didn't know what she was talking about. She said, now you're ready for me to tell you why the shame ended up with you and none of the rest of you. 
because I was a horrible person. You know? And I know I was. And I wasn't saying because I was so young and immature and stupid. I'm thinking, I used to tell her how much I hated her. How much, why would you give me away and not the rest of them? I mean, I was terrible to her. But before she died, we sat down and we talked about this. And she told me, and we became so close. Yes. That, you know, every Thursday, I, we would go to lunch together. We would talk and we would laugh and we would joke. And when she died, she, she had called me that Wednesday. I said, Mommy, you know I can't come until tomorrow when I'm home because it'll be late when I get home. And she died that Thursday morning. I had no regrets. Most people would say, oh, I should have went. Oh, I feel bad. It, God was ready for her. Right. So I had no regrets. I have no regrets to this day. Right. But I did regret treating her the way I did when I was younger. And then God said, but you guys mended your ways. You, she forgave you. You forgave her. That's right. And we became like mother and daughter. Because I know it was God. There yeah. was no one else. Even though I didn't really know him. I, I mean, I was. I, I grew up in church. But, you know, teenagers. Growing up in church. We went to church. Yeah, we did. But we played around a lot. But I thank God that when my mother left this earth, I had no regrets. Yeah. And I know that I treated her the way it a daughter was supposed to treat her mom in the end. And to this day, I've learned so much being here, like I said, in New Birth, that I've learned how to treat people. I've learned how to love people. Because for a long time, I was such a loner. I didn't, I didn't want to be around about I was not as outgoing as I am now. I learned a lot reading the Word. I learned a lot of listening to sermons and the Bible studies. So I just want to thank God for being here yeah. in a church that preaches truth. Yeah. And no, they don't sugarcoat it and tell you what you want to hear. You know, none of you guys will say, T tell me what I want to hear. You tell me what I need to hear. Yeah. And I thank God for that. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
Psalms 51 and 10. Amen. Psalms 51 and 10, the King came first. Created me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Notice what it says in the next verse. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. I want to talk to us on this subject. Right in his sight. Right, right in his sight. Let's pray. Ika Topia Maka Toshiki Maka Tomaya Tokia Baka. Lord speak here tonight. Hila Poma Naya Toshila Bakuria Maka in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. I thought about this particular text. The true going, the true going. And um, I had to ask myself the question. When was the last time that I prayed a prayer like this? Hello. Amen. Now when we look at this particular prayer, we have to go back and uh, wonder why this is in the Bible. Yeah, talk about it. It's, it's, it's very important. When we look at the life of David, that's right. He done some wonderful things. He yeah. was anointed by God. But he failed God right after yes. he committed, amen, two major sins. Amen. Took another man's wife and got her pregnant. And had her husband sit up on the front line and get killed. Not only her husband got killed, but some other soldiers got killed along with it. That's right. But God still loved David. And he sent a prophet to reveal the story to David. And David saw himself in the story. In the end. Go take your time. Take your time, Bishop. And this particular song is, is really powerful because David, amen, began to talk to God in a way that he had never really talked about. Yeah. Yes. In this particular song. Yes, preacher. Create in me a clean heart. Amen. Oh, Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Renew a right spirit, right spirit. within me. Will you pray yes. me? Yes. yes, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. In fact, Humans don't always act right. Oh, oh yes, right. All right. Amen. And we see it all around us. Uh huh. Oh, yes, Lord. Road rage, greed, uh -huh. lust, yes, pride. Lord. And the list goes on and on. Uh huh. Amen. You see, a lot of this stuff is happening right now in the so called church world. Right? Yes. All right, preacher. Help us, Jesus. I am disturbed about a lot of things going on, especially where uh, these people flocking in by the house. Yes. Yeah. And uh, they need to pray this particular prayer. Yes. Please be up. People allow emotions to control their our actions. Yes. Thus, 
and to suffer the consequences. Help us, Lord. Lord, help us. We see young people. Point again. Uh-huh. Yes. Then the girl get pregnant. Uh-huh. Yes, Lord. Uh, but the consequences. Uh-huh. Oh, yes. It's a dangerous thing to be controlled simply by your emotions. Oh, oh, yes, Lord. That's so true. Your emotions can get you in a whole lot of trouble. Amen. Amen. After we come to Christ, we accept his grace and receive a new life. Uh Uh-huh. Being born again of the water and of the spirit. Amen. But before we got to that place. Create in me a clean heart, yes, O God. Oh, yes. And renew a right spirit within me. In other words, yes. this is a prayer of repentance. It's a prayer of repentance. Help me, Lord. We got to get to a, a place not to distance ourselves. For praying like this. Yes, Lord. And to keep you saying. Yes, Lord. But if we are careful, we can slip back into our old ways of living. That's true. That's why I asked myself the question as I was writing the notes. When was the last time I prayed like that? It's all right to shout. It's all right to sing and praise God. But there's time in our walk with God. Amen. If we don't want to sin, we don't have to pray this way. In order to remain close to God and push away our old life, our heart's cry should be becoming more like Christ. Notice in Psalm 51, King David tells us about a process that takes place in our hearts. We can't clean our hearts. David's prayer. Uh This is the part of the prayer. A cry to God in which he says, create in me a clean heart. How can we have a clean heart? We got our face online looking at the Come on, right, All right. All right. Amen. How can we have a clean heart running around with people who don't even really love God? who create things, go through a series of steps. Yes. But only God can create something out of nothing. Well. You see, in order for God to call down the darkness to his mother's life, there must be a prayer of repentance. In order for you to continue to stay safe, 
You're going to have to pray that prayer. Amen. Over and over and over again. Yet in this song, David is asking God, amen, <laughs> to form a clean heart inside him because it's a process. You walk with God and have a clean heart. It's a process, folks. There are things that you have to do. Yes, we talk about When modest clothes, ladies not cut their hair, ladies not wearing pants. But let me tell you something. If your heart is filthy, I don't care what you got. Hello? If anything, we need a clean heart and a right spirit. Churches had some online, and there was a comment made. Someone was on the platform in the church, and they had some facial hair on, and this individual attacked. Hello. He had the audacity to write something down and say, get that ungodly individual off the platform. And there's something wrong with his heart. There's something wrong with his spirit. We have to be careful what we say. Especially about those that are part of the household of faith. Right. They don't know what the standards of that church are. Exactly. They don't know where that individual was in his progress in the church. I simply wrote back. We must be kind to one another. Right. He didn't write back anything. Because I read what was in the book. Be kind to one another. Amen. And the way you're going to be kind to one another, you got to have a clean heart. That's right. you got to have a right spirit. Praise God. Yes, it's a process, folks. And we're going through that process. I wish I could say that no evil thoughts cross our minds. If we're honest, we have to deal with evil thoughts. Matter of fact, they even advertisements out there. It seems like everybody's connected. Why? And if you are on Facebook, I recommend to you when you see somebody on your particular uh, Facebook page. And they don't have any clothes on. Will you please delete it? Yes, Get rid of it. Yes. 
David also asked the Lord to renew a right spirit within him. It's so easy to get so caught up in the politics of the day. Yeah, to get the wrong spirit. And take on the wrong spirit. All right, preacher. Amen. That's right. That's right, preacher. Let me tell you something. An apostolic should not have a mean spirit. Amen. Right. Come on, preacher. Matter of fact, I ain't gonna hang around anybody with a mean spirit. Amen. Good. <laughs> Without God working in our lives, we don't always do what is right. David understood this. Then we look at the word of God and it says, he was a man after God's own heart. The Lord picked him to be king and anointed him. Done great, magnificent things with him. And yet, he got to a place Consider him keeping a clean heart. Hmm? Hello. He ended up getting another man's wife pregnant yeah. and getting her husband killed with some other men on the front line. Yet, He was not really totally lost. Because God loved him so much that he sent the prophet. And if you turn your back on God, don't worry about it. He won't come after you. Just like he came after David. He will send somebody to help get you out of your mess. Praise God. Let's thank the Lord for his goodness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We need God to change our hearts, to make us more like him. I thank God for the truth. But you can read this Bible and memorize it and still have a filthy heart. Right. Only God can give you a clean heart right. and a right spirit. There are people that can quote this Bible and they don't have a clean heart and don't have a right spirit. not just leave us there. We also need God to continually renew us and make us right in his sight. What's going to make us right in his sight? God's going to have to perform an operation Child of God can do a walk with God. Be careful what you think. Amen. You think of trash, your feet will travel there. Well, and if you really dealing with an issue in your life and you're struggling with it. Yes, you have 
had not done the same thing for David now. But guess what? How to get yourself out of trouble? Pray that prayer. Let's go to the Lord. Come on. Lord, put that in the Bible for us. To help us. To realize. blasphemy of the Holy Ghost. Right. And you can't be commit blasphemy of the Holy Ghost if you haven't been filled with the Holy Ghost. But he has made a way for us to be right in this sight. Don't you stand? When was the last time you pray to pray like that. I want us to take a little time. Let's just talk to you. Let's just be honest with us. And would you pray that prayer that David prayed? I believe God will do something. And you look at that. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I need you, Lord. I need you, Jesus. I need you, Lord. I need you, Jesus. I need you, Lord. I need you, Jesus. I need you, Lord. Yes, Lord. I pray again. A clean heart. A right spirit, O God. I need you, Jesus. I need you, Lord. I need you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, for the opportunity, Lord, to serve. Lord, thank you for the promise of it. Oh, you Thank you, Lord, for victory, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Pray to me, Lord. A clean heart and a bright spirit, O God.
something tonight. Thank you, Jesus. If you're dealing with something, and you know it's ungodly, and it keeps coming back at you, the way to get victory is actually praying for that prayer. That's how you get it. Because if you don't get to the place to pray a prayer of repentance and consecration, you're going to have to continue to deal with that over and over and over and over again. But God can give you a clean heart. Spirit. Yeah. Will you clap your hands and one?